leave the music on for this game. It's a rarity. Don't get used to it, everybody. Microphone sensitivity. Uh, I don't need that because I'm fucking in a party, dude. Speed-based ship sounds. Fuck yeah. Textual music. HUD warnings. Doppler effect. No, why the fuck not? I like radar. Just don't let Klinger near that Jeep anymore. Okay, that was good. Controls. Yeah, this is where, um... Uh... I'm, uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be really fucked. A invert my Y axis. Classic scheme. Okay, yeah, I'll leave it where it is. I'll just uh, flop about like a fish out of water. <clears throat> Credits. Game. Building mode is single block. Enable experimental mode will unlock unofficial and not fully developed tested features you may experience problems. Yes, we will experience problems with Clang. I'm well informed on Clang. Area What's mod IO consent? Blueprint sharing. We use Mod.io to support user-generated content in the game. To continue, you must agree to the Mod.io terms of user policy, yada yada, and Xbox Network. Yeah, you you and those those buttons. God damn it. Default block placement mode of X only building and creative. Yeah, I think we should fuck around in creative quite a bit before we jump into actual survival on any. You're insane. And not in the fun part. I'm gonna go for a nice seductive pink. Getting set up is a Herculean feat of what the fuckery. Hey, guess what? Your audio's not included. Hasn't been this whole time. I'd like to include audio. What more does it want from me? A hand job? Maybe some. Oh, there it is. It's included. It better be this time. 
Yeah, no, it's it's good. Oh, it really does support mods. What the heck? Oh yeah. There's some pretty nice looking mods that I've seen. And there's this one feller on YouTube who made a nice fucking attack craft. Oh, you can even make it private or friends or public. <laughs> Max players. Two. Auto. Auto. Yeah. Oh. This is crazy. The amount of buttons I could press. <laughs> that ghillie suit does not look like a ghillie suit. I crashed a game again with buttons. It's not my fault. Like character inventory size times three times ten times five. Realistic. All right. Blocks inventory size. I like the realistic. way that looks a little bit better. Oh man, these settings are crazy as fuck, dude. A similar efficiency? Refinery speed? My god, dude. Right, I'm gonna be sussy as all hell. Are you gonna set up a world or you want. What's, what's happening? I'm setting up my character and tools. Ah. Uh, environment hostility safe normal cataclysmic Armageddon <laughs> those are quite the fucking things man the heck yeah, that'll work asteroid amount you can change you can have what sound mode arcade realistic what limit world size unlimited no fucking shot. What the heck? View distance. Respawn ship cooldowns. Enable sun rotation. You can change the day and night. Max objects 50. How many can you have? 56. Turns out. Animal NPC limit. <laughs> How many can you have? 60 fucking four. What? Max ship size. Yeah, you're gonna want that to be as large as possible. Max blocks per player. I'm just looking at all the options you get with making a new world. Total PC use. My freaking goodness, dude. What? Max backup saves? You can have a. What? I know, right? Optional spawn distance, max offline broadcast distance, what the hell does that mean? What? Auto healing? Wow. Yeah, see, you can actually have survival, and you can set up all this stuff here. This is absolutely easy, dude. We don't need... Uh, creative. I mean, it'd be nice to see it, but I think we should start out with survival because there's all these options, dude. Original content. Uh, yeah, I remember these from PC versions. I'll let you set up the world, though. I I just wanted to see the options. There's quite a few. <clears throat> when you have set up the world, you let me know. I'm gonna chill here. Ow, my back. While I'm chilling, I'll return shortly. I'm gonna go get me something to drink. I know it's gonna take you a minute to set up a world, so I'll be right back. Mm, yes, it's definitely going to. Give me one moment. Grab press buttons without fully understanding how it works on console. <clears throat> All 
Earth like drop pod. All right, I'm back. Welcome back. <sighs> that took a lot less time than I thought. All I did was go get me some goat milk, though. Now we got goat milk. We're doing it. I'm becoming a big fan of uh, goat milk, even though I just only just now got it into my life. It's pretty good, actually. Figuring out the world situation now? I am figuring out just how screwed I am for knowledge of how to do things. Well, I know how to make the world and make it easy, make it something actually we can play. I kept mine all at um, normal. We'll figure it out. Um, I didn't change any of those settings, so. Uh, Let's we'll see if <laughs> we'll see if the default is actually what is good. Dang man, I actually haven't even looked at the default for uh whew. be exciting though because uh, mostly I haven't played it. I don't know the controls and I haven't even looked at them. <laughs> now I hope there's a way I can point. If not, you know this is going to be funky. Portal 2 all over again. 
Yeah. It's definitely. We've had a quite a few updates from what I'm seeing since, uh, Has fifty nine updates. My goodness. How do I get you into the game? Well, if you made it to an online game, I'm assuming um, it will tell me. To, it tells me to search, so I'd have to search what the the name is. I would imagine. Just invite me like you do everything else to the Xbox menu. Hey. <laughs> Go to what a show. Still can. There's no difference. I don't think me typing it in is going to make it any faster than you inviting me. my nickname in high school. Just a name of it. That's a good name for an achievement. Got a present for you, detonate a warhead that kills you and another player. That's an achievement? Kill an enemy with a rifle. Contact your suit power. Wait, what? Connect your suit power with less than one percent remaining power in certain survival mode. Visit all planets and moons in survival. Uh, these are going to be some fun achievements. You get over there. Are you already in the game? Uh, mods are only supported in experimental mode. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, yeah, no. I think we should try it out, uh, without mods, without being in creative mode. Just a few of the, uh, settings on good. Which most of the settings make sense of how to make them better. Oh. Oh. It'd be just like No Man's Sky. <laughs> so you said it's like Minecraft, so do I mine and craft perhaps? Yeah. Wonderful. Place. Damn it. 
You can have as many as you want, apparently. Figured out the settings fairly quickly. Total amount of PCU in the world. <clears throat> that means protective. Broadcast. That means protective crap unit. Yeah, that's the one I was confused about. Of all the settings, <laughs> offline broadcasting, it's a little strange. I've never seen that in a game, especially on Xbox. Secret damage is turned off. Okay. <clears> hmm. <throat> <clears throat> Lightning damage. Hell the fuck no, I'm not turning that on. <laughs> I would make sure it's a private game as well. I wouldn't imagine you want randoms to join. Yeah, private. And from what I've seen, yes, that's an option. As I could join. Yeah. I mean, with the good with good settings, I mean, survival should be just fine. <clears throat> there. The name is monkeys. The description monkeys. is dirt. Monkeys survive. Why did you sneeze me? <laughs> These people are not that creative with names. Who? Oh, me? No, no, no. These guys that I'm looking at in the games right now. Uh, it says, literally, their names is Never Surrender. Home System. Yeah, that's it. I'm not even going to bother looking. For your game, I'm just gonna wait until it loads for you, and then you just can invite me. I'm not typing. It's not happening today. It says it's preparing world loading. Yeah, you have to wait for it to load, I know. Kinda figured, if there's a billion buttons, I would imagine that you have to wait for a loading situation. Well, um... <laughs> shit. Dude, this is the weirdest shit I keep seeing though. 1.204.4 or .018 BO retail. What? <laughs> That's the build we're on, apparently. That's what it says. We're on retail. Don't know how the fuck that one works out. We're, we're on retail. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, now it's loading. Creativity is intelligence having fun. Ain't that the truth? And it's hey. a quote by Albert Einstein. Yes. In this hey. game... <laughs> we'll be doing some crazy shit here. As we'll see how perfectly balanced Space Engineer... <laughs> uh, how the fuck do I invite you into the game? I told you, just to find me through the Xbox. It's not that crazy. Just go to the party and invite me. If you're not able to do it that way, then you got me. I don't know.
but for what? Is it working for you? I didn't get no invite. I sent one. I didn't get a damn diddly. Okay. Huh. Loading anyway. I was probably because you're still loading. Don't you tell me to leave the passenger seat while I'm descending in the drop pod. Yeah, I think you probably have to wait until you drop. I don't know. I'm waiting for an invite. I'd wait for any amount of loading that had to be done to get done and then it to the invite. Otherwise, I don't think it's going to work. I get to see things explode, I think we should be good. This fucking shirt that I'm wearing is fairly cumbersome. Not very comfortable. Whoa, what the heck? I can drop anywhere? I draw. I, I don't know where the fuck you want. I'm echoing off of you. How? Where did you drop? I don't. I don't know. You don't know where you drop? Was it Earth-like drop pod by chance? <laughs> I sure hope so. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh. Shouldn't give me the option to be able to leave this. I <laughs> uh, crosshair just stays right there, huh? I'm a floaty. Ed, press Y. Oh, okay. I was like, what? Yeah, that's your jetpack. I was, I was like, what in this? Well, that's higher. Oh, I'm already cutting down trees. Not give me any wood though. Where the hell are you? 
You know, that right there is a wonderful question. I don't know. I landed on the earth, is what I know. Yeah. I don't. I'm not a big fan of that. Yeah, the jetpack is uh, quite something. Yeah. I can get pretty far pretty quickly with it. I could just... Can I go down to the center of the earth by chance? Is that a... Uh, the answer is yes. Oh, he shouldn't have given me this power. <laughs> this was a mistake game. That doesn't really, that doesn't help me out again. How the hell do I put up my weapons? That would be uh, my question. D-pad? That, that didn't do anything. But. Uh. Oh? Okay, alright. I'm on this massive fucking field of ice. I'm I'm not sure where the fuck I am, but I'm here. Oh yeah, mind your um, energy and your hydrogen and your oxygen levels. Okay. I do uh, see right bumper and left on the deep bed. Oh, wow. okay. All I know, there oh, are oh, oh. there's a giant mountain that way. I've got some artifacting on my screen, and it it turned green. Dude, I don't know where I'm going. I, I just decided to walk in a direction. You know me. Walking in the directions. I feel like I need a mouse and a keyboard for this. I mean, you can hook up a mouse and keyboard to your Xbox. I've not even any more. Back here, Stone. I want you. I don't have any more fuel. I'll, I'll let you know right now. Whoa! I see... Oh, that's the moon. I was about to say there's a giant ball on the ground, but that is the moon. I see the sun and the moon. Maybe that is a ball. I don't know. Ball over there. It looks like the moon. It's very close. There's an edge to the world, right? I guess. I mean, it sure enough looks like an edge of the world situation over there. Where might you be would be a good question to uh, wonder. I am next to my drop pod. I believe it's coming nighttime a lot quicker than I assumed it would have. No, it's not. I think my character might be dying. No, it's definitely becoming... What? Okay, on your drop pod, uh, yeah, take out your grinder, grind off the light. Um, stuff in a menu system here, buddy. Yeah, I know how that feels. No, really, I'm, I'm actually stuck in a menu system. Uh, 
Again, yeah, trauma is not what I expected at all. Especially the oh oh that's not it. Especially the fact that I feel like I'm kind of playing a PS2 game <laughs> at the current moment. The drop distance in this game is quite interesting. I've got it. Okay. Alright. Um, I assume I'm learning. Nice. It says great. I've got my drop pod. If that's any. for a whole different reason. Uh, Alright. I don't know what any of this is. No time like the present to learn. Oh, that's a... 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 Oh,
We might. I just walked in the direction you're on the earth, right? You can like go to the moon. Great. Back here, rock. You're mine. Alright, so here's the question. Do you see a mountain? I see several mountains. Okay. Uh good. I'd say do you see a big mountain, but there's also several big mountains. Oh, bitch. Alright. <laughs> I was gonna ask you if you see snow, but there's quite a lot of that, too. Yeah. Okay, so. Huh. I see an area with light. That yes. should be the sun. Let's say it's probably the sun, right? I can see the sun. Well, no luck for us here. We'll never find each other's history. <clears throat> also, I'm realizing that there's no, like, uh, situation of which way I'm actually going. It's just I can see my my respawn point or pod, whatever. And then I'm just going in a direction that I feel like might be helpful. I don't know. Okay. I've taken all the lights off the damn thing so it doesn't waste any more electricity. Alright. Wait, there's electricity in this? Uh oh. <laughs> Real question is, um... How do you suppose we're gonna find each other? Back to a location? <laughs> Go in the game chat. Hello. Dude, there you go. And then you and shoot. an S10 pistol. But if you can make a flare gun and shoot a flare in the sky... Perhaps I'll see it. I don't know. Okay. Okay, uh, our gun is ready. Boy, I hope I see a flare. Not yet. Let me shoot it. You tell me when you shoot it. Once you shoot it, I'm going to go in whatever direction it's going from. Flare away. You're not gonna believe this? I don't see shit. I don't think that flare goes up as high as you would imagine. Well, it would work better at night. Well.
You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just go on my merry way. Why? Have yeah, I queued a hundred players instead of ten. <laughs> Whoops! Oh shit! Everything's glowing. I'm just, apparently I'm dancing. Wonderful. When in doubt, dance it out. That, everything's blue again. I learned how to dance. Ah. <laughs> I learned how to dance. I guess we're we'll getting started. These are the things we learned. Uh, I'm going into a direction. Whether or not it's the direction I need to go, I don't know. Look, all I know is I can see the moon, perhaps. I don't even know if that's the moon. But I see a giant ball that just so happens to be the shape of the moon. I'm launching flares toward it. Are you? Yep. Well, that, I didn't say I was on the moon, I just said I could see it. It's a thousand fucking kilometers out in space. My flares aren't going to get anywhere fucking near that. <laughs> Made you think I was gonna put flares on the moon from the Earth? You never know. I do know. It's not gonna happen. Not with this dinky ass little flare gun. I, I do know one thing. I could see the sun on one ass. No. I could see London. I could see friends. I could see your mother's underpants. Is that what you're going for? That's not talking about. I can... the shadowing is quite interesting in this game. I am now a thousand kilometers away from my pod. I think I would like to turn off the part of the back. Look, I'm gonna go up to one of these giant... <laughs> I'm gonna go up to one of these giant fucking mountains. Inventory Whether or not that's the best full. idea, Inventory I don't know. Full. I'm going up this mountain. Inventory full. Inventory full. Inventory full. The fact that I have no idea of anything in this game. Oh, I figured out how to run. I wasn't crowded. We've got quite the journey to go up this mountain, I want you to know. I really wish I had like... In front of me, currently. Why does it feel like I'm like playing a PS2 game currently?
I'm imagining I'm supposed to be doing something, but I'm on a journey to go up this mountain. I mean, I've already lost quite a bit of health. I'm at 42 health, and that was because I didn't know pressing the X button while I was in the ship was going to just launch me out of it, but I'll tell you something, that's what it did. Oh. Okay. Well, I figured out also why I was losing a little bit more electricity than usual. I had my flashlight on. Hello, environment. My name is Good Too. What? Oh, goodbye. Energy low. What's that do? I, I'm not really sure I know what the hell that did, but... Man, if only your subscribers could see. I'm on a Bear Grylls type journey right now, except I'm not drinking my own piss. This fucking mountain is all sorts of fucky. So if I go up on this mountain here, I haven't made anything, I want you to know. I just decided, you know it would be fun? Go up on top of a mountain. This is why we play these type of games. I am placing foundation to save my ass. I'm at 42 health, dude. Holy crap! Going up this mountain didn't help out anything. We really need David Edinburgh to be here. Is he? This here is a wild joke. As he's on his journey, we can see it now. Going with a mountain like a mad man. And he's still like times five. Well, mountain is a lot more treacherous than I remember. I thought it was going to be. I was going to say I'd remembered, but I've never been up this mountain up until right now. My jetpack fuel is critical, yet I'm not using my jetpack. How does that make any sense? Uh -huh. oh, there's bound to be a way. Where there's a will, there's a way. And I will make my way up this mountain. Holy crap, dude! I'm on the top of the mountain. Sort of. Dude, this is quite the fucking feat. I'm on an amazing journey right now to go up a mountain, see if I can't see from the top of the mountain and see where you might be. 
But, you know, there's like at least 20 other mountains. <clears throat> now, here's the thing. If you also went onto a mountain, and because you have a flare gun, you shot it. Maybe that wouldn't make any sort of difference, but I feel like something would happen. That is... Pretty awesome, dude. I'm currently running up a mountain still. We'll see energy if I find low. you at some point, but. This computer, I know my energy is low. Dude, everything is low on me. My health, my O2, my energy, my H. Two is completely a zero. But I'm currently walking up a mountain. Again, I'm not so sure how much help this is going to be, but I guess we'll see. I make choices here. Whatever choices I make, I'm stuck with them. We are all stuck with my choices now. Yep, I'm stuck with my own choices here. Whether or not they're good ones, well, that's, I guess, to be found out in a minute. I was told there was multiple buttons. I'd press multiple buttons. I wish this stupid really good shot. No, probably not. Especially the X button. I didn't know what the hell that did. But now I've made the choice, and I'm going up a mountain. Okay, I can recharge my energy by getting into the sea. Nice, I'm still walking up the mountain. Funny enough. Okay, give me about six seconds. Are you going to go up a mountain? <laughs> okay, look around, see if you see a flare flying around. I don't, but I'm also still walking up a mountain. I'm also ah, so shit. What? I broke <laughs> construction. And I don't see any sort of player. I haven't made it to the top of this mountain yet, though, so maybe if I make it all the way to the top of this mountain, I'll see a flare. With this heat that's in my room, this is actually a literal climb. Get on top of the mountain is a better question. Apparently, got a Skyrim. Uh, yeah. No, literally, yeah. Going around. 
I don't see anything. Stop shooting them for a minute. Wait till I get up to the top of the mountain. actually went into without any study. Alright, I'm at the top of the mountain. How Go are you ahead. enjoying it so far? So far, great. I, I literally climbed the mountain. Inventory full. That's not an accomplishment in this game. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Without a jetpack, you do it. For this mountain now, for no reason that I decided to climb this mountain. Okay, are you looking around? I am, yeah. Okay, players out. Nope, no player. But if I get higher on the mountain, you think that's gonna solve anything? Because at the moment, I don't see shit. I see the moon, the sun, the other moon. Wait, you see two moons? Uh, yeah, the side of the sun. I only see one. Okay. Well, that seems to be a sort of a problem, don't you think? <laughs> Full. It looks like it's supposed to be where the moon is, but have you seen how close this other moon was? Saving in progress, it says. Yeah, every five minutes. Okay. Yeah, so, I... Yep. There's no help here. I don't know... I'm here on the top pretty tip of this mountain. I don't see one fucking player, not even a one. I'm not shooting right now. I mean, even Ready? You, yeah. Put a few out. You see anything? Uh. Oh, sure don't. I looked everywhere. Okay. Just absolutely. How many respawn pods are on your radar in your HUD? One. Or do I? 
almost feels like we're, we're not even in the same game. Beside of a bunch of fucking mountains, which is not a lot of help. See, I see. I don't even know if that's a but it looks like a moon. So I see a moon to my left. Whenever I look, I see the sun. And then I see another moon to my right. That's it. One of those moons is quite a lot closer than the other. Inventory full. And I've been on this journey for about a week now. Ran up a mountain. And now I'm lost. I'm stranded. And I'm to go. I need to find my way home. Nope, you sure can't. I figured that out the hard way. Climbed a fucking mountain. That's why I said you have to kind of Skyrim your way up a mountain. Oh, a little bit of lag. So you see two respawn pods, you said, right? Near you? I only see one, and apparently it's my respawn pod, it says. Ow. I'm now at 32 health. Are both of the ones you see close by, or...? Is one of them quite a distance away? One's quite a distance away. Uh, 59 kilometers. That's probably mine. Because it doesn't show me your respawn pod, I'm going to assume that only works for the person who's making the game. I've cut down quite a few trees. I'm not really sure if that actually does anything or I'm just doing that for fun. I think you're just doing that for fun. But I have cut down quite a few trees. Still on that mountain? Nope. I've decided to move. Okay. I can't stay up there because it was telling me I was losing oxygen quite quick. Wouldn't have guessed that down on top of the mountain.
Now I'm going to my respawn pod. Heck, damn it! I can't dig down any further than that, really. Bam, 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 bam. Do do do. Wonderful. You know, I'm the man who finds glitches. Currently, I feel like trying to see if I can't find one. There's bound to be something I could do. And I am a man who is very willing to push buttons to figure it out. Okay, so here's how I'm gonna do it, right? You you said there's another respawn point or pod, whatever, you know what I mean. And it's quite a distance away and what direction is it in from you? Okay, I'm looking at the moon. Doesn't help at all. <laughs> and it is to my left and down, probably on the other side of the Nine kilometers away. Alright. So I'm on the other side of the planet, I would imagine then. Oh no, my inventory is full. trying to tell me I have to walk slowly, the hell I do. I don't think you know who I am, game. Alright, I'm near about close to my pod. It was, it was seriously a straight line. I went up the mountain, right back down the mountain. It would have probably been easier to go up the mountain if I had a jetpack, I'd imagine. But I did it the old fashioned way. I ran up it. Alright, Mr. Know It All, you go ahead and run up the mountain. I'm playing with my chainsaw. Inventory full. Chainsaw, it's a grinder. That's you. Set the game too. Yeah, well, you and the game are goofy. Piss off with that crazy <laughs> shit, dude. I clearly cut down a tree with it. I got a tree with this. Apparently. 
All right. I can cut and I can cut it down with a hand drill too. dwindling my electrolytes dwindling <laughs> my O2 dwindling I will make it back to my respawn pod sit in the seat to recharge yourself never obviously we need to figure out if this is a perfectly balanced game My guess is, because I've got quite a lot of stuff in my inventory, it just might not be that perfectly balanced as I thought. I have a giant tablet on my wrist. Blah, blah, blah. Ice my ass. Shut up. What the hell am I gonna do with ice? Nothing? Hey, I don't think me making a flare gun is gonna make any bit of a difference. If I can't see yours, there's no way in hell you're gonna see mine. Again, I don't see how much help that's going to do if I can't see it. Yeah. Even if I look in the direction it's in, like I just did, I don't see shit. Yeah, keep in mind, I literally just climbed up one of the largest mountains in the damn game and still didn't see a damn player. That must mean that you are across the map. So these respawn points are quite interesting. And uh, saying that you're across the map, that means I would not see your player any time soon. Ever, in that matter. The sun is going down though. I can clearly see that. What the hell? Silver? I found silver. Oh yeah, that's definitely. And it's telling me I, I'm supposed to be walking slowly because uh, of the weight that I have. But I realize if you just crouch and uncrouch, you go fast. Hey, yeah, what now, game? Didn't think that one through, did you? <laughs> so going into the respawn pod, does it actually uh, refuel everything, even your jetpack? An astounding nope. fucking note. You gotta go into the uh, apartment on the side of it and pull out the uh, hydrogen bottle from the O2, H2. Yeah, I didn't Whatever. actually have a. Apparently, I don't have one.
A little blue and white pie. Yeah, I'm here. And there's nothing in it. I just put all my stuff. Understand that, but glad we figured that one out. Uh, what? Yeah, none of this is any help. What the heck? Okay. I just put a bunch of shit in there. A lot of stone, for that matter. that do? Yeah. Oh my god, dude, what in the So what did that do? I turned on a beacon, did that do a thing? Yeah, what did, I can what, see where you are. Oh. Wonderful. I can't see where you are, so... You are 23 kilometers away from So I wasn't the other one? Who the fuck is the other one? I think that was my favorite. Wow. Ah. So I'm 23 kilometers. That's quite the distance. Yeah, hang on. If you turn on a beacon, then it'll tell me where you are, right? I think. I have no idea. I'm learning. As I go. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think being in creative would have actually solved much.
Well, unless it fucking made it to where we spawn right beside of each other, I really don't think it would have solved a lot. Because 23 fucking kilometers is fucking as astronomical. Yeah, mine didn't come with a survival kit, by the way. I think uh, only the person who owns the game, or owns the server, does. Okay. My beacon's up. You see it? Give me one moment. Um, no. no, I can't. What the hell? Why are you that? What? So you're able to see mine, but I'm not able to see yours. That seems very counterintuitive, to be honest. Okay, so you could see my beacon, right? Okay, try that. I put broadcast radius at two fucking billion. <laughs> oh, I do see it, yeah. It says enemy signals. My fucking god, you're quite a distance. I know which way to go now. That's wonderful. Well, I'm going to start making the journey. Here we go. On my way to this enemy. 23 kilometers away. You know what's funny? And you're not going to fucking believe this one. It literally goes up the mountain I literally came down from. What are the odds of that? I don't know. It does though. It, it literally goes up the mountain I came down from. I'm sure it was an easier way of getting around. I don't even think the jetpack would have helped me all that much. There's vehicles in this game, right? I hope. Oh, okay. yeah. I'm assuming you have to make them. Okay, I'll figure this out. So, when I get to you, is there a way that we get to team up, or what, what happens? You haven't explained a lot in this game, buddy. You've actually played it. Still figuring out how shit works in the floor uh, and setting up the base. I feel like it probably doesn't work any different because you don't have a mouse and keyboard. Uh. Oh, an achievement lost in space. How'd you get that? side of other players on a multiplayer server. <laughs> How the hell didn't I get the achievement? The fuck? I don't fucking know. Oh, never mind. I just got it. Lost in space. Interior plate. Murders. 
We're an, <laughs> we've been here for an hour for a reason. There was no way for us to find each other. Literally. We couldn't figure it out. Mostly. Essentially, there was a way. We just couldn't figure it out. When it gets fucking dark, it gets dark, dude. The fuck? I can barely see anything. Is there a way to turn up the brightness? Uh, hold the right bumper and press right on the D-pad. Yeah, that just brings up my fucking flashlight, buddy. I need actual brightness, this thing. Uh, yep, it doesn't have a brightness. Cool. <sighs> hey, Alright. gonna have to screw with your TV setting. Kinda sucks that it doesn't have a brightness filter. Kinda should. I get that it's supposed yeah. to be realistic and all, even though it doesn't look realistic in the slightest. Okay, How do I? My first um, wind turbine is up. Nice. Our base has power, and it's on pixel. I imagine there's another achievement. Be not in sight of a uh, enemy in your multiplayer server for more than two hours. Oh, uh, I've already climbed this mountain once, damn it. I figured out the beacon, then told you, and now you know about the beacon. We're getting somewhere. Whether or not it's the right place we need to be getting in the game, I don't know. Dude, when it gets dark in this motherfucker, I'm telling you, dude, what the heck? It looks nice, but... I enjoy this grainy filter situation. Makes me feel like I'm playing a PS2 game. I know they did that to try to make it look realistic. Especially if you're in first person. There's a new game out that does the same thing, dude. Literally, it's called uh, Body Cam. It's on Nickel and Cobalt, dude. The fuck? I haven't gotten much closer, dude. I'm on my way, though. I'm on this journey, dude. No wonder I wasn't able to see fucking Flare. I, I knew it was probably because we were quite the distance away. It's the only thing that made any sense. So the curiosity I have is, can we actually get off of the Earth and go to different planets while we're still in the game? Like, um, I, Yeah, we just have to build the ships with that. Okay. Kind of figured that, you didn't have to tell me that, but... I was just curious if it was like No Man's Sky, where you can go to different planets. The 
building, I kind of figured. I'm 21.5 kilometers away from enemy, it says. Be glad I'm a guy who enjoys fucking actually journey type shit see where any I get. Players? No, I don't see shit. You're still way too far away. to the game I've only went four kilometers away from my respawn pod. Really it's quite the feat. You can say whatever the fuck you want. If you're not doing it. Hi. Inventory full. At some point, we could just work on one together. Okay, yeah, so you are the only one that actually finds with the, uh, the kit, by the way. Inventory full. As well as that, I'm actually walking legitimately across the planet. Great. And again, there's, I doubt that there's an achievement for it, but there really probably should be. There's not. Like how there's an achievement from for staying away from an enemy for an hour. But not for walking for more than an hour. You say it's not a feat to climb a mountain, but you haven't done it. I feel like it is. If you don't have a jetpack, I feel like that's a hell of a feat, dude. Yeah, I didn't know whenever I jumped out of the fucking uh, thing, it would immediately turn on my jetpack without me actually knowing anything. I didn't even know I was fucking flying around, dude. I literally didn't know. The game didn't tell me. 
So I thought, why am I walking so fucking weird, dude? Walking on my side here. It's kind of weird. And then you're like, did you push the Y button? I sure fucking didn't. But whenever I did, I was on my feet. Big difference. Then I decided, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna climb a mountain. And that I did. Come to find out that that mountain I was gonna have to climb yet a fucking in. And it wasn't an easy task to climb that fucking mountain. Trying to shoot its flare up in here. See him? Yeah, I do. He literally shot it right in my fucking eye. What, the first one or the other one? Literally, you just shot the first one right in my eye. Now my screen, yeah, now my screen is all weird. Turn on and then off on the flashlight. Yeah, you're extremely close now. Why is there so much artifacting when that happens? You're literally just shooting a fucking flare. It shouldn't be that much artifacting. Not only did I have to climb one mountain, now I have to climb yet another mountain. Somehow your fucking flare legitimately hit me in the eye from across another mountain. How does that make any sense? It doesn't. Who's making up this fucking bullshit? Flank. That's... Oh god, dude. The artifacting. What is happening? Dude. I'm not even joking, I wish I could show you this shit. I've already seen it, dude, I know it. It looks like an RS2 map on my screen. <laughs> that should not be what is happening. Actually, I'm gonna take a screenshot of that. I do wanna show you that, that looks fucking crazy. It looks like a Pac-Man stage. Yeah, I think I'll be forever, um, apparently getting artifacting because you shot me right in the fucking eye according to Dan. That's cool. That, again, that really doesn't make a lot of sense, but... Who am I? I think it's because they had, they really made the lighting not really work all that well. I think that's why it does that. They try to make it to where when it, you say realistic, that it tries to make it realistic, but because the game is fairly grainy, it just doesn't account for being realistic and just does artifacting. That's my guess. That's like the only thing that makes any sense to me.
an easy fix, though. If they did, like, uh, probably a UI update, I would think would probably fix that. And maybe a lighting decoder update, that'd probably help out a little bit. Yeah. That one. Same thing with the trees. I said it'd make it better if they just did that. I mean, probably. It's not even that difficult. Energy to do it low. Either. And saying that they frequently update this game, from what I've seen, should be very easy. I mean, literally the last couple updates I've seen on their update list were bug updates. This is a bug for sure. Also, they should probably add a thing where you could change your fucking gamma, kind of like Minecraft does. Your lighting level. Yeah, it it help out a lot. More gamma than anything, actually. If they just made it to where it's just gamma, they didn't have to do anything really, as other than uh, gamma, because the way that the lighting already works, especially when it's daytime, is just fine. So all they would have to do is add gamma for darkness because it gets a little too dark. Especially for my life, my liking. As well as that, I wouldn't be able to change any settings on my TV that would change that, by the way. That's in this game. That has nothing to do with my TV. I'm now 15 kilometers away from you. I don't need... Please don't. Please don't. That, that artifacting literally kills my fucking eyes, dude. It was helpful when it was, but now we don't even need the flares anyway. We, I could literally see where you are. Unless you turn that shit off, I'm not going to be able to know, but I don't think you need to. The beacon. It helps out immensely. Also, I found out uh, a way to not take any damage when you're falling, which is cool. You have to hold out your drill. And make sure you're aiming it down when you're falling and push LT, which is, uh, you know, when you make tunnels. And for whatever reason, you don't lose any health. At least I don't. <sighs> I'm using up a lot of energy because... It's nighttime and I need my flashlight, so. How do you get this stupid good bot introduction garbage to go away? 
Uh-oh. Also found out you can go through the map in the same situation that I just did. That's crazy. Really not what I suspected. Fourteen fucking kilometers still. So there's only a few things I'd say that they should fix, especially the where you spawn if you're making a world. The person should be able to spawn pretty close by whoever joins. Especially if you are making a game for you and them, like they should be able to spawn next to you like Minecraft. That'd be way better than me spawning literally across the fucking map. Making it to where I am having to walk to you. And I hate when you or anyone fucking says it's not a Herculean experience. I'm on my feet, dickhead. And I'm walking. You don't go that fast. I'm having to climb these stupid mountains that are not... They have really bad angles, dude. Have you seen the mountains in here in the game yet? Looks like someone came through with a fucking drill and just went nuts. I don't know if you've seen it yet. Yeah. Okay. okay. Saying that you're still over there building your base situation, I'm gonna say you probably haven't seen it yet. But it is fucking stupid. You have to find your way around, like, every little cracking crevice. Unless you have a jetpack. Ten point eight five kilometers away from my respawn pod. Thirteen point five kilometers away from yours. But since you're making a stream, I'm glad that maybe they'll listen since they're making updates. Uh, developers, if you hear this, for this game, please, just do those quality of life updates. It, it would make the game better, I assure you. Not that it's not a good game so far, I actually am enjoying it. I mean, I don't mind running across the planet kind of annoying for sure but yeah dude you're literally across about five fucking mountains I just want you to know maybe even more and somehow that fucking flare hit me in the eye how does that make any fucking sense what the hell Gotta make the flares a little bit more logical as well. That doesn't make any sense. A flare can hit me from 50 fucking billion miles away. That, what the heck? But by sheer, sheer willpower, I'm making my way to you. This rate, I could have literally fucking just built a vehicle, I guess, but I also am unclear how to do that. The settings in this game really are quite a... They're, they're way over the place. They're all over the place. Everywhere. Literally. You said there was buttons, but I didn't think you meant like this. There, This is not buttons, dude. This is just too many settings. That's all it is. The rate I was seeing, it's like, oh, look, dude. You can see how many buggers your character has. It's like, wow, dude, that's... I'm not so sure how much help that is.
You don't. I don't know. That's a good question. I mean, I'm fucking walking to you either way it went, dude. <sighs> They should have really also made the walking a little faster than this, man. This walking is ridiculously slow. Whether or not you do the method that I was doing, it's slow. I'm going to assume we're going to have to look up a lot of stupid shit. Like I said, I don't think being in creative was going to make a big change, dude. We would have probably still had to look up a lot of stuff. Game paused. Connection. Yeah, it paused for me too. It just says connection problem. Great. It crashed. Was this my fault? No. no. Usually it's my fault when a game crashes. <sighs> well, well, I'm gonna take that as a sign to stop stream recording and get shit figured out in the game. <laughs> and we'll get back to stream recording this shenanigan instinct. Later. Yeah. Second night trace. Good night trace here.